All right, guys, so our greens, they finished cooking up. It's been 35 minutes. And this one I ended up with here in the bowl. They cook all the way down. I had put a little extra water that, you know, cause it was a, a smaller recipe. So I added in some chipotle chili pepper to give it a spice. And I put a little bit more sesame oil on it. The sesame oil makes it smell like there's meat in the pot when there's not, you know? So I kinda like the sesame oil. Now I'm gonna show you how you finish it off. Hold on one second. These are the greens here. Um, let me get a spoon so I can uh, put the sesame on it. So it calls for a tablespoon of sesame seed. Okay, here's some sesame seed I have here. So it calls for a tablespoon of sesame seed on the greens. Um, let's do that. And that's what's gonna finish off your greens. Now, I didn't make any cornbread, so you're gonna put, measure out a, a good helping of sesame seed, right? And you're just gonna sprinkle it all over your greens. It's already got the sesame oil on there. Okay, I'm going to take the fork and just turn the greens and sprinkle, sprinkle a little bit more. It's going to be a nice taste. You know, you got the spice and you got the sesame. And this would be enough for two people if I were going to add something else to it. But it's only going to be greens on the plate, unfortunately. So if I had made some cornbread patties or, you know, cornbread uh, biscuits or something. But... This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how I plate these greens up. I'm gonna plate it up just for me. Later I'll fix another plate uh, for my son. You're gonna take your spatula and your fork and just put you some greens right in the center of your plate, just like that. It's got all the sesame juice in it and everything. It's been cooking up for about 35 minutes. See how, see how they shrinked up when they cooked? And uh, I'm gonna put a top on the bowl. So they kind of shrink down when they cook. There you go, you put it right in the center. Two, two helpings is, uh, well it's one helping of, one serving is 152 calories. So this is about maybe 300 calories. Now, the only thing, uh, the three dates added 75 calories. So you got 152 plus 75 plus me. This is like two servings here. One serving would have been one on the plate, just two so I got 375 calories with the dates. Okay, now I didn't make any um, cornbread. This is what I do, I like crunchy stuff, right? I put me some chips on the side of my greens. Sometimes I put me some crotons. I, I don't want to use up my crotons because I got salads to make. This salsa verde is something that I like. I like this better than hot sauce because it's natural ingredients. Hot sauce got red dye number five, number four. This don't have a red dye. It's just a green tomato. Like say for instance, if you cut up a tomato on your food, this is just tomato and um, bell peppers and spices. This is just a uh, tomatillo tomato right here. I like tomatillo tomato. So I eat it on my greens, right? You can eat up uh, any kind of salsa, anything like that. So this is my plate here. I got my turnip greens, sesame turnip greens. I got my, uh, I got some party size ruffles and I got a tomatillo sauce, salsa verde sauce on here. And uh, we're gonna see what it turned out to be. It looks so delicious, guys. So I have the recipe posted up. I don't know if the video is already uploaded and you get a bit of a crunch with your green. It is so good. Mmm, delicious. I just got that little spice because I put that, um, I got a little thing of chipotle chili pepper seasoning. And I sprinkled just a teaspoon over it while it was cooking. I'm going to show you. If you don't want to use hot sauce, you can sprinkle some of this. It's called chipotle chili pepper. Give you a nice little spice on your food. Okay. And I got a nice little plate of greens here. It's a nice serving size. Look at that. 
I got my greens. I got my little crunchy chips and my little tomatillo, this little roasted tomatillo stuff here that I like. And you put a tablespoon on the whole bowl of greens. And that's how, you know, that's what he's gonna eat, the same thing. Now, if I had made a little cornbread, some little cornbread blocks, it would have been a couple of, corn, maybe two cornbread blocks over here, but I didn't make them, so. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna enjoy these nice turnip greens with the sesame in them, the little spice and the um, little crunchy stuff on the side. See, the sesame make it taste like you got some meat in it. It's a way to trick you. Even when I was walking through the house, I said, oh, is that pie got meat in it? What's that sesame? It smells like it's meat. Vegan happy. Have a good evening.